The Data Protection Bill has as its preamble a remit that seeks to establish a new framework for managing the processing of personal data in Grenada. The bill contains eight parts and seeks to promote the protection of personal data processed by public and private bodies, to provide for the functions of the Information Commission and for related matters. However, the bill that is to go before Parliament has raised some concerns, especially in Section 33 of the proposed Act, titled Warrant and Search. This section states, quote, If a magistrate is satisfied by information on oath supplied by an authorized officer that there are reasonable grounds for suspecting that an offense under this Act has been or is being committed, and that evidence of the commission of the offense is to be found on any premises specified by an authorized officer, a magistrate may issue a warrant authorizing an authorized officer to enter and search the premises. It is too open-ended. We, I also complain about the chief executive officer. I know the bill defines it, but in the context of this bill, the definition in the bill is universal. It's not confined to this bill. And at the very least, this bill should identify who would be the chief executive officer of the commission in any event. The idea that not only the commission itself, but the chief executive officer may delegate any power or function under this act to an authorized officer must be an abuse of power eh? mm -hmm. by parliament. That clause needs surgery, if not elimination. Alexis says that while the bill has good intentions, some parts of this legislation must be revisited. My read of the development of these data protection acts across the world they are presented as enabling the private individual to retake his or her personal data. But the reality is that these pieces of legislation, they are used more often than not to enable the state to invade the privacy of the individual far from enabling the individual to protect his or her privacy. On the contrary, they enable the state to invade the privacy of the individual. The bill is scheduled for first reading at tomorrow's sitting of the House of Representatives in St. George's. When pressed for a comment on the issue from government, Press Secretary Tahira Carter said they have no comment at this time.